some kind of morality where you should think with respect to this dialogue which we are having with you today. More than once I expressed my opinion, I want to repeat it today, that in Ukraine, in the years of independence, there are very many violations against the Ukrainian people, very many. And there are no steps of limitations and there will come a time I talked about this more than once that we need to create a National Bureau of Investigation and to investigate these violations these crimes how Ukrainian people were robbed and there are very many of these kind of examples I do not Viktor Andreevich I do not before an icon, I vowed that I would not today, as they say, attack personally or accuse you of something. Let God be your judge. How you worked in the National Bank, how you worked as a Prime Minister, and what you did, what do you have in mind? You know very well, Viktor Andreevich, I want to say to you again, the issues of General Prosecutor's Office are not issues for the government and not for the Prime Minister, but for the President, and I had no relations to relationship to them. And as concerns our voters and fellow citizens, as a person that believes in God, you said this correctly, I confess only before God. A question, Viktor Andreevich, when you yourself don't like receiving criticism or are, have a painful relations with it and you try to manipulate issues or questions, so I will give a simple question. What? You call facts, you call them fa uh, falsifications, and you really think that in Western Ukraine there were no falsifications. You know that 1,200 documented violations took place. But I repeat, these are our people, our voters. And when you say that vote was stolen from somebody and you absolutely are not in agreement that these violations were on both sides, I think that you are being dishonest. When you talk about Moscow and Putin, and please, uh, a question. I'm asking a question. When you talk about Moscow and Putin, you know what are the issues that he came here for. I don't want to say that he didn't support me. Yes, exactly how you were supported by Western countries and supported by America. I don't want to talk about this. I want to talk about the future. I posed several questions to you to which you did not give me any answers. Do you consider that today there we don't have any problems in this country or do you feel that you have already won the elections and if Yanukovych wins then in this repeat election you will again not acknowledge my victory. Please look at the timer and I'm, I stopped the timer and when Viktor, Viktor Petrovich has only seven minutes less left, this will be a signal that we're at the last question and last answer. You have much more time. We have a representative of the Central uh, Elections Committee, Andriy Maher. What are we to do at this point? Either Viktor Andreevich should give longer answers, or if we go along in this kind of regimen, we should stop debates at the time when one of the candidates has run out of time.